Today I will be demonstrating Bernoulli's principle. Bernoulli's principle states that as the velocity of a fluid, such as a liquid or gas, increases, the pressure in the fluid decreases. Today I will be carrying out five demonstrations that illustrate this concept. I have hung two balloons from strings. As I blow in between them, watch what happens. Notice that the balloons came together when I blew in between them. This is because the speed of the air in between the balloons is greater than the surrounding air. This also means there is less air pressure in between the balloons. The pressure surrounding the balloons is greater because the air is not moving as rapidly. Therefore, the balloons are pushed together by the increased pressure around them. I will now blow over this strip of paper. When I blow over the strip of paper, air moves quickly over it, causing the pressure above it to decrease. However, the airspeed underneath stays the same. This means there is greater pressure beneath the paper. Because of this difference in pressure, the pressure below holds the paper up. Airplanes also follow Bernoulli's principle. The wing of an airplane is designed to let air move more rapidly over its upper surface, therefore decreasing pressure. Because air is not moving as fast below the wing, pressure increases, pushing the wing up. This is called lift. Bernoulli's principle can also be demonstrated by making a ping pong ball float using the airstream of a hairdryer. The fast moving air around the sides of the ball has a lower pressure than the surrounding stationary air. If the ball tries to leave the airstream, the greater pressure in the surrounding air will push it back. This means I can move the hair dryer any which way I want and the ball will still stay levitating. How many of you think that I can blow this ping pong ball out of this funnel when I turn the hair dryer on? Let's find out. Let's try. 